I was approached by Four Corners for an interview on what was described as the government's progress since 2007. And so in those circumstances, of course, I said yes. My job is to answer questions and to explain what the government's doing. I'm not someone who runs away from questions, and so I did agree to the Four Corners interview. Kevin Rudd didn't. He maintained a silence. Do you think that you were misled about the terms under which the interview was going to be done? Well, I've explained to you, Sabra, the terms that were put to me, that it was going to be an interview about the government's progress since 2007 and, of course, outlooks for the future. And that's what I'm particularly focused on, the outlooks of the government for the nation's future. We're in a time of challenge, economic challenge and economic change, and that's my focus. We'll get to that in, in just a moment. The episode last night revealed that staff in your office had been working on a Prime Ministerial acceptance speech two weeks before the leadership change happened. That's pretty damaging. Did you know that speech was being written? Sabra, I'm happy to answer that question, and I will. But I do want to say this. This is all focused on the past, and that is not where my focus is. People are reading today about job losses. They're looking at change in our economy. They're thinking about what we need to do to have strength and prosperity prosperity in the future. That's where my focus is as Prime Minister. But in answer to your question, let me make two very simple points. I did not direct staff in my office to prepare a speech for me as Prime Minister. I wouldn't have seen the need for it. I decided to challenge Kevin Rudd and to ask him for a ballot in the Labor Party on the day I asked him for that ballot. But did and you no know? Question, no, uh, you know, no question, no television program, nothing will ever change the facts that I made up my mind to ask Kevin Rudd for a ballot within the Labor Party for the Labor Party leadership on the day I walked into his office. But did you know about this speech being written? You may not have asked for it, but did you know that it was being written? Well, I didn't direct it, and this was a tense few days for me and the government. So I can't specifically say to you when I came to know about the speech. It could have been on the Wednesday night, it could have been before. But the point here is I didn't direct the speech, and the decision I made about seeking the Labor leadership was made on the day that I walked into Kevin Rudd's office and discussed with him having a ballot for the leadership. The US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton knew about a possible leadership change two weeks before it happened. Did she know more than you? Well, that's asserted in the program and the program uh, directors will need to put forward the evidence of that.